there are additional policies you need to know about to keep your channel safe. In this KYC number 11, know your channel. They are right here. The link to all this is down there in the description below. We will talk about inactivity, meaning not uploading a video for six plus months, what that can mean to your channel, using vulgar language, what are the boundaries, can you encourage terms of service violations without violating them yourself, just telling other people how to, and age requirements. I also want to go over what the YouTube CEO said is her goal, more communication with you. Susan Wojcicki, and just so you know, that is how you pronounce her name. You can hear it from her. My name's Susan Wojcicki. She said in January, her number one priority is to have more open and frequent communication with you, the creators. Now we are communicating with you regularly on The George Show and through email. And Susan Wojcicki has her own YouTube channel, just like I am uploading to youtube.com slash freedom. The problem with Susan's channel is there's only two videos and the last one was uploaded eight months ago. Susan, how is that a role model for all of us when you yourself launched a channel and made it inactive? Which leads us to the inactive accounts policy. In general, users are expected to be active members within the YouTube community. If an account is found to be overly inactive, the account may be reclaimed by YouTube without notice. Inactivity may be considered as not logging into the site for at least six months, meaning you haven't logged in, you haven't uploaded a video, you've done nothing for six months, never having uploaded video content, meaning an empty channel, not actively partaking in watching or commenting on videos or channels. This doesn't say you will get a YPP suspension or termination for an activity, but it does say that YouTube can give your account to somebody else, which is almost the same thing. So don't be inactive like Susan. Upload regularly to your channel. I recommend at least once a week, but ideally two or three times a week. Susan also emphasized how important it is to protect the YouTube community by tighter enforcement of policies. That's why we're creating all these KYC video guys to make sure you understand what all the policies are and what can terminate your channel or suspend your channel so that doesn't happen to you. This is all from Susan's January post, which is here on the YouTube Creator blog, where she outlined her five priorities for creators in 2018. Here is the one talking about more communication, and here's the one talking about tightening the enforce, tightening and enforcing our policies. Again, the link to all these are down there in the description below if you want to read them yourself. So we are asking all creators to keep the following things in mind, and this is important, and you should read this and follow these links after watching this video. While freedom, ex while freedom of expression is one of our core values, we have long had community guidelines in terms of service. Have any of you actually read these community guidelines or this terms of service? If not, I recommend you do so. If you're uploading to this platform regularly, you have to understand all of these points and you have to ask yourself, am I complying with all of these guidelines? And if not, then delete the videos that don't comply. Don't just unlist them or make them private. YouTube can still see the history of those videos. But if you delete a video, YouTube even tells us that it's deleted, gone, purged from the system, that they can't actually even undelete it so be very careful about what you delete. For monetization guidance, review the advertiser-friendly guidelines and the video monetization criteria and the Google AdSense program policies. This is a lot of reading, guys, but it's helpful if your goal is to build a career on YouTube and you have to know the rules directly from the source by reading these articles. These guidelines are enforced through video demonetization, a channel being removed from the YouTube Partner Program, or a channel's termination. Now these are all things that count as abuse events against an MCN. If you find that you are unlinked from freedom, it's most likely because we felt you do not follow these guidelines. Now we do make mistakes, and we have unlinked channels that we shouldn't have, just email freedom at support.tm if that happened to you and help us understand the context and where we misjudged your content. If a video does not comply with our advertiser-friendly guidelines, but does comply with our terms of service and community guidelines, you should turn off ads on that video. 
That's something you need to do manually because probably you have set enable all ads on all video uploads. So if a particular video is not advertiser friendly, make sure you manually turn off ads on that video. When one creator does something particularly blatant, like conducts a heinous prank where people are traumatized, promotes violence or hate toward a group, demonstrates cruelty, or sensationalizes the pain of others in an attempt to gain views or subscribers, it can cause lasting damage to the community. And so we've outlined additional steps we may take beyond our current strike systems when channels upload videos that result in widespread harm to our community of creators. All of this is in the Google Doc down there in the description below. And I've been adding to this Google Doc. It's actually got everything from recovering terminated channels to other policies you need to be aware of that can cause a YPP suspension. And now we've added this YouTube CEO goal along with all these helpful links. Please read all this. Tell me down there in the comments below if anything is new. Did you learn something that you didn't know before? Share it with us. So say it with me. We can all help each other grow together as a family because that is the spirit of freedom. The freedom family, we all help each other grow together by sharing best practices, replying to our comments and questions, and talk to us on our Discord chat server to get channel reviews. Are you wondering if your channel is brand safe, has good content? The link to our Discord chat server is down there in the description below under collaborate with us and talk to us on our forums. Post your channel. We have sections where you can introduce yourself and get a few new fans following your channel just by posting about you. While we are not able to tell you what to create, we never want to tell you what to create. That's for you to decide. We would like to give you clarity on the boundaries. And that is important. So please use your common sense. Don't abuse the site and be respectful to others. What about vulgar language? Some language is not appropriate for younger audiences. Use of sexually explicit language or excessive profanity in your videos or associated metadata, like your video description, may lead to the age restriction of your video. Note, that's it, age restriction, not YPP suspension or demonetization or termination. It's okay to swear, but know that that is not advertiser friendly for most advertisers because YouTube is an all ages platform. So most people who advertise on YouTube are focused on an all ages platform. But if you use strong language, don't worry, your channel won't get suspended or get an abuse event. And I also want to talk about, is it okay to encourage terms of service violations? No, if you post content that encourages other users to violate the YouTube terms of service, the content may be removed your account may be penalized and in some cases your account may be terminated. So just by telling others how to abuse the terms of service is enough to get penalized yourself. I hope you found these additional policies helpful. Click that eye to see all the KYC videos in the Know Your Channel series in case you missed any. My goal is to help all of you create careers in this digital world. That is our mission statement. Really, roll it. Building your career means growing responsibly, following the rules, and doing things only cleanly. No gray area, guys. Don't try to walk the line. It's not worth the risk. I've done it again, guys. It is 3 a.m. Sunday, actually Monday morning, and I'm really tired, so I'm not gonna read your comments today. I'm gonna cut this video off here, but I hope to start these videos sooner so I can get to reading your comments and doing the other fun things like reviewing channels and giving people rewards and deserved shout outs. But for now, who am I? I am Sleepy George, Papa George, George Sun Pie, many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom. Little Freedom today. For Freedom and the Freedom Family and all the amazing people that are helping each other grow together 
as a family. Keep safe, guys. We'll see you on the next video. I am George, and you've been watching Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.